Man, it feels good to do a review again. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're reviewing Webull, one of the top investing platforms. You've probably heard about them from other YouTubers telling you to which I'm doing too. But you came here for the juicy details on Weeble, so I'm here to tell you everything that you need to know. We're gonna do things a little different and take a look at each feature of Weeble, weighing the pros and cons, compare it with other platforms along the way, and then at the end, I'll give you the verdict on who might want to use it. If you do wanna check it out, I put that two free stock link down below. No pressure, it's there if you wanna use it. Like I mentioned, Webull is an investing platform created in 2017 where you can buy stocks, ETFs, options, and even cryptocurrency. It has a mobile app, desktop app, and website, all of which are clean and easy to use. This is really unique. On one end of the spectrum, you have Public and Robinhood, which only have mobile apps, and on the other, you have Vanguard, which is more web browser focused. If you want something in the middle, like I prefer, Webull is perfect for that. Fidelity is also phenomenal with a similar but less modern looking interface on both mobile and web browsers. Webull has zero commissions, so you can trade as often as you like completely for free. But many other platforms now have this. Robinhood was the first, but TD, Public, even the big guys like Fidelity and Vanguard do as well. So at this point, it's more of a requirement. Just make sure that you are using a platform that's not charging you five bucks a trade like back in the day. The way Webull can offer free trades is through payment for order flow, where they receive a commission from a market maker, in this case, Apex Clearing, to route orders through them, and they might go and sell that trading information to people who might want to predict the market. This doesn't necessarily impact your experience using these brokerages directly, especially compared to others that do this like Robinhood, who have financial ties to their market maker, Citadel. There ain't no such thing as a free lunch, you know? But it seems like Webull is at least doing it responsibly. When it comes to actual trading, Webull offers fractional shares where you can buy a slice of a company's stock. So if you wanna buy a share of Amazon, which is $3,300 right now, you don't have to shell out all that to become a shareholder. You can buy a small piece with as little as $5, which is a pretty small chunk. <laughs> Zoe this time instead of Zeke. For real though, fractional shares are really nice to have, but are a lot more common these days, again with Fidelity, Vanguard, TD, Public, Robinhood, etc. supporting them. One thing to note is Webull only does whole shares or fractional shares in a single transaction. So if you want to buy 1.5 shares of Apple, you need to buy one share in the first transaction and then buy the other 0.5 in a second transaction. Fractional shares are also only available on the mobile app, not the desktop app. So just a heads up on those limitations if you're planning to use it. Ideally, you'd be able to buy 1.5 shares in a single transaction on either app and if you flip that around, it would be nice to say, hey, I wanna buy $500 and then they go buy however many shares that is. I've actually gotten confirmation from Webull's marketing and engineering team. They are working on adding this. I don't have an exact timeline, but in my professional opinion, I could see this feature getting rolled out within six months, but that's just a guess, don't sue me, bro. My favorite feature of Webull and the thing that I use every day is the watch list. There's so much info at your fingertips and the best part is it syncs between devices so I can research a stock on my laptop, add it to my watch list, and check it out on my phone while I'm out and about. In addition to the desktop app, they have this widget that has a preview of my watch list and tapping on it takes you right into the action to see what's going on. Pro tip, you can sort your list by a lot of things, but I usually go with name to find a specific stock or by percent change to see what stock has moved up or down the most. If you wanna take a closer look at a stock, the charts are really informative with price, percentage, and volume all in one. They also put useful info like PE ratio, earnings per share, and dividend data right at the top. I switched a while ago from Seeking Alpha and Fidelity because I prefer the ease of access, sharper interface, and data that Webull provides. Seeking Alpha does have better access to articles and news to augment your research, while Fidelity would allow you to research and trade stocks all within the same platform, just like with Webull. So it's up to you here, and it depends on what you want out of your research tools. If you're looking for inspiration for stocks to add to your watch list, the community feature can help with that. It's basically a social media plus news source, which I especially like that last one. 
all in one. Just be careful of blindly investing in stocks that you see on there and always do your own research. With so many features geared towards advanced traders, it can get a little complex. Now don't get me wrong here, I'd rather that than not enough features, so this isn't a bad thing, it's just something to keep in mind. I could see a beginner getting overwhelmed real quick, so if you stick to the basics in here, like the watch list, the markets, and your account, you'll be just fine. If you do run into a problem, you can get it resolved really quickly because their customer support is absolutely amazing with both an in-app chat as well as phone support. For example, I had an issue linking my bank account with Plaid and had a stuck transfer. I asked for help on the chat, then called them up and almost immediately was on the phone with a rep who fixed the problem. Less than an hour later, I get a message back in the chat saying that my issue had been resolved. This is a really big deal because not all of the other big platforms have this level of support. Robin Hood, ugh, excuse me. Pretty much only the really big boys like Fidelity and Vanguard have similar customer service. So if that's important to you, stick to Weeble or one of these. On top of this, Weeble is also SPIC insured for stocks up to $500,000 and FDIC insured for cash up to $250,000. To get money in, they support ACH and wire transfers and also use Plaid to streamline this. Most other platforms have this as well, but it's nice to know that you are covered. Weeble does support trading some of the major cryptocurrencies, but I personally don't use it since it's not your wallet, not your coin. You can't actually use any of the crypto you buy with DeFi apps or a crypto interest account like Celsius, Voyager, and BlockFi, where they pay you interest to keep your crypto with them, just like a bank does with your money. Links down below to my reviews if you wanna learn more about them. But if you don't care about any of that crazy stuff, it could be nice just to let Weeble take care of everything for you. Just know that you will not be able to transfer crypto into or out of Weeble at this time. This could be a whole other video in itself, but if you wanna buy crypto that you actually control, look into Gemini, Coinbase, and Binance. I reviewed all of these on my channel, which I go really in depth into each with comparisons to alternatives, so check them out if you're interested. Finally, Weeble supports both regular taxable accounts and IRAs. This is fantastic for people who want to retire someday, which is hopefully everyone. <laughs> it's great that they offer this. It could save you a lot of money in the future, and you can keep everything on one platform, which I'm a big fan of. This is basically the same reason why I use Fidelity. I have a regular account, two IRAs, and an HSA on there. You could also do the same with Vanguard, but honestly, I'd stick with Weeble or Fidelity for these. So for the verdict on who would want to use Weeble, new investors would really enjoy the watch list, market data, and trading since they are simple enough to get some practice, especially with zero commissions, fractional shares, and two free stocks using the link down below to help get your feet wet. Advanced traders will also benefit from the in-depth market data, analysis, options, and margin. And anyone would appreciate the really clean and slick interface, so they basically have something for everyone. You pretty much got all the features and quality of service of the large platforms, but they do receive payment for order flow, the fractional shares can be a little tedious for the time being, and the interface might be overwhelming. So that's it. There's my honest review of Weeble, plus some alternatives to compare it against. Hopefully this video helps you decide if you want to invest with Weeble. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.